you know, being here back at our annual reunion is always good. Families should get together at least once a year, and uh, this is uh, my extended family, so I really appreciate all of you. Um, and uh, yes, there is a, probably a record number of people here we'll be seeing today, so uh, we do have to face the challenge of where do we meet next year. So, and, and you know, it's kind of a good-bad problem to have. It's good that so many people, and the, how important this is for so many people, it's a challenge because a lot of you keep telling me it's like we love coming to the campus and being sort of in a campus uh, environment. So, uh, but you know, we have to also be able to support the community uh, in that. So with no further ado, uh, my name is Jan Odegaard. I'm the executive director of the Ken Kennedy Institute at Rice and uh, associate vice president for research and cyber infrastructure. Uh, and it is my pleasure to welcome all of you. Uh, I'm really excited about the, this year's program. Uh, I think we have uh, yet another record in terms of the program, in terms of uh, what we expect and what we see in terms of both diversity, uh, you know, in, in a number of different dimensions. So I'm really excited about that. It's really a good time to, uh, to be here talking about supercomputing. Uh, back in January, the DOE Exascale project had their annual meeting in Houston over in the Galleria area. Uh, I think there was like uh, 800 people or 700 plus people here for basically a week of conversations about high performance computing. Uh, why did they choose to come to Houston? Uh, they really chose to come to Houston because of all of you. They really saw what was going on in Houston and the importance of being in, in a community where industry really cares about high-performance computing. Um, uh, to them, they really will only succeed in their mission uh, of exascale computing if they're actually able to deliver resources and, and facilities that also is of use to industry. Uh, they don't want to be DOE facilities only. Yes, they will lead uh, the, the industry by a few years, but they also want their technology to be available for the industry and be of interest to them. So it's critically important for them to engage that, and I think it was a wonderful opportunity for us to kind of participate in that. Uh, several of you were there at that workshop, uh, probably not everybody, but that was, uh, again, uh, an evidence of what we're doing here. This is the 12th year we're doing it. Um, I don't know what I created with my car. I say we created when we started this, um, we thought there was going to be a little gathering for a few years. Well, 12 years later, we're still doing it and going strong. So thank you all of you. Uh, this is just a reminder of the thing that you already know. Uh, this is about engage, educate, and network. It's not really about the people up here, although there's a lot of content coming from here from the podium, but it's really about you talking to each other and engaging and networking and sort of working in that community that we all need to, to worry about. It's about technology. Um, yeah, very quickly on the, on the venue, uh, if you haven't already noticed, um, there is, uh, let me see here if I can, so uh, behind us here, this is the elevators you came up from the garage, uh, women's restroom is on that side, male restroom on the other side, also if you walk around on the side here where all the posters are, there's also restrooms in the back here, just so you know there's on the back side of the auditorium, um, and then we are in this room 103, so that's where we are. This is where you signed in the registration. Over here is where the exhibit event hall and the refreshments and networking breaks are. Um, oops, I thought I had another uh, slide there for the second floor. So on the second floor, if you walk either up outside or you walk the stairs here, sort of on that end of the building is where the breakout sessions room 280 is, so you know that. Uh, again, this is the community, this is all of you. It is uh, uh, the intersect, we're really playing at the intersect of the oil and gas industry, uh, IT industry, which is really high performance computing centric, and uh, academia and some national labs on and off coming to join us. Uh, again, I think that they were all in town for a whole week in January, so maybe fewer of them come here uh, the, this time. Um, I couldn't do this without uh, my colleagues, and, and they deserve all the credit. So you see the organizing committee, uh, uh, of my fellow colleagues there, and then we have also this year, because of the growth and the size of the conference, uh, we decided to actually expand on that. Uh, you can have this seat uh, up here, you move my laptop. <laughs> um, and we had a technical program committee, so we recruited even more people to help with that. So, uh, so it really is a growing community. 
One of the things I said last year, if you were here, I challenged the community to help bring a more diverse uh, uh, view of the audience. Uh, we need diversity in our community. Diversity means many things to many different people. Uh, I think diversity of thought is brought by bringing together people with different backgrounds, uh, whether it is how you look or how you think, but I do encourage that. And I'm very pleased to say that this morning, Melissa Fratkin, are you here? I want to uh, applaud her for pulling together a, uh, a Women in HPC Texas chapter workshop. We had about 30 people basically all morning having a conversations about sort of the challenges and opportunities. And I would strongly encourage you, I've invited her to come back and do it repeat next year. And I hope that everybody will take that opportunity to join that conversation and help bring that attention that we need here. Because we need to, to attack this head on. And there's a lot of learning to be have how you engage with the community, how you think about yourself, what you're doing in the workplace in an average day. So it, 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 you know, one comment that came up there, I think it was Catherine that said it, you know, every, every meeting you start in energy industry is by a safety moment. By the way, I skipped mine. Um, um, you should also add to that a diversity moment. Full credit goes to the person that said that, Catherine, and, and I really appreciate that thought because you should actually have this as part of your conversation. Every day when you have a meeting, talk about it because if you ignore it, it won't happen. With that, I also want to thank the people that really makes this happen because, yes, we are in here and I'm up here, but Victoria, Debbie, Caitlin, a bunch of students you have seen. This couldn't happen without that. So let's give them a, an applause, you know. And without them, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have food. We wouldn't have refreshments. There wouldn't be table or tablecloths or anything. So, you know, and they magically make things happen. Your PowerPoints wouldn't be up here when you needed them. Um, also, we couldn't be here if it wasn't for all our sponsors. Uh, well, you could be here, but you would be paying $1,000 per person or something to be here. Uh, so make sure you spend some time in event hall talking to the sponsors and you know, uh, engaging with them. Uh, obviously, there's an auto forward here on this slide. So again, thank you to the sponsors. Uh, also, the other thing that I have talked about before, we have a number of fellowships that gets awarded, named fellowships from companies. Uh, BP, Cray, ExxonMobil, Shell, and Schlumberger are actually sponsoring fellowships on campus to graduate students. Uh, I'm, you, you know where to find me if you have interest in wanting to do something similar. And the conference itself is able to sponsor a number of fellowships that we bring students here and help recruit more, more students of the kinds that the industry is looking for. So we're really excited about that. Um, a uh, couple of other things before I uh, hand over the floor here to our uh, opening keynote. Uh, it's a save the date. We have started another conference in October 14-15. This would be the third time. Well, that's a wrong date. This should be 2019 Rice Data Science Conference on top there, but the dates are correct. Uh, so that one will be, um, you know, for data science AI focused. Uh, and then uh, next March, uh, March 2 to 4, will be we we'll reconvene here for our uh, 13th reunion. So.